So um, we've just got three slides on um, attributes for the workshop. So we'd like everyone to be really collaborative, very hands-on. Everyone, if you just feel free to ask a question, if there's anything you don't understand, just shout out. I want it to be a very iterative process. Um, and um, as uh, Margarita said before, it's, it's quite rapid. So um, bear with us if, um, if things are moving a bit too far. Shout out. Um, so potential failure modes, we talked about um, timing. Uh, we've only got two days, so it's really going to be compacted. Um, uh, and um, uh, not being human-centered is, is really important. So putting your, yourself in this idea of a beginner's mindset and, and focusing on the, the students and the community of the user. Um, don't split hairs, looking at big picture, um, and keep thinking together and coming up with divergent, um, divergent thinking. We've also got some rules, I'm very sorry about that. Um, like to restrict computers and phones to the breaks if possible, so we've got your undivided attention. Um, of course, if there's something you really urgently need to do, please, please do it, but um, we, we appreciate them, them being off. Um, we're going to explain the different uh, uh, worksheets that we're going to go through, um, and there will be some instructions that are quite important. Um, Talk about this idea of uh, pivots in thinking. So we'll, we'll discuss that a bit later. But this idea of not ideas just being uh, the key to brainstorming and just coming up with as many ideas as you can, and then and then going to this convergent thinking, which is focusing on the, the ideas that work. So it's quite difficult making this pivot, um, but we'll, we'll come to that. Um, we've got some uh, breaks, lunch as well at one o'clock sharp um, today and tomorrow. We have some coffee breaks, and we'd, we'd like to keep it as 15 minutes as possible. Um, if you could write in capitals on the post-it notes and the, um, and the sheets that we'll give you, that'd be really helpful. Um, and uh, we've got some um, the felt tip pens and the stickies as well. OK. like the most boring portion of the workshop. I get to do the boring stuff. Um, but it's really about getting everyone on the same page about what Objective 3 is about, what we propose to USAID, and what we're trying to do. So this is very um, planning speak. But I thought it was important for everyone to know what, what we had been committed to. Now, I have to confess some guilt because I was one of the, the co-writers of the original grant. And so what we were thinking about in 2012 and where we are in 2014 is a bit different in terms of you know what we were thinking in terms of MOOCs and all this other thing. Since then, we've had a lot of time to learn and get up to date. And so um, one of the things that, that we practice very much at Stanford is that we're entitled to change our mind given new information and how things change. And sometimes that's at odds when you're working with slow bureaucratic organizations. Because they say, but you said this. And you say, yes, but that was then. And now there's new evidence. And things have changed. And so our thinking needs to get a little bit more sophisticated and nuanced as a consequence. So I'll, I'll just put that disclaimer out right now, that I got us into this fix, and I'm going to help you get out of it. Um, so the wording for um, objective three, and I'm hoping that I have the correct wording because um, but this is what I have for the most recent document. It is to enhance resilience-related knowledge and share it globally, engaging students, faculty, staff, and development experts from around the world to collaborate on solving resilience-related problems. So notice that we don't have the word MOOC in this statement because MOOC was a starting point, and what we realized, and we'll, we'll go through this in the design thinking process, that sometimes the problem that you think that you're trying to solve isn't actually the problem you think you're trying to solve. And this wording reflects that. Because we're saying, like, actually, the MOOC is a vehicle. It's, it's a means to an end. But the actual thing that we're trying to do is have this collaborative community where we can all rapidly learn from each other because everyone on the planet is facing the same challenges. But that equation, but it's not the only thing. 